And we are back, bringing you episode number three of NHL 15 player ratings. Once again, these are not official. Uh, they are made by a guy on a forum, but this guy did spend a lot of time putting, to get to, putting this together. It might not be 100% correct, that's why I wanted to post it on YouTube, so you guys can critique it. Uh, but anyways, we are going to go on to the Detroit Red Wings here. Uh, they didn't do too much throughout the offseason, other than losing a lot of players to free agency, like D David Legwan and Daniel Alfredson, Daniel Cleary. They lost those guys to free agency, and uh, they picked up Kyle Quincy, or at least they signed him back. To a two-year, $8.5 million contract. Uh, they re-signed Jonas Gustafsson. And they re-signed Thomas Tatar. So a couple things there. But let's get right into the goalies here for Detroit Red Wings. And they're going to say that 85 for Jimmy Howard. 81 for Peter Merzak. And 80 for Jonas Gustafsson. Uh, Jimmy Howard, I think 85 seems like a pretty good stat. I think it could be a little bit higher for sure. But 85 seems pretty good to me. Uh, just as he's not... I don't think he's one of the elitist, like he's not at the, I think, Tuka Rask level yet, but he definitely will maybe be there uh, eventually. Uh, but Jimmy Howard, and next one, we go on to the defense here. Nicholas Cronwall, Daniel DeKaiser, Brandon Smith, Jonathan Erickson, Jacob Kindle, Kyle Quincy, Brian Lashoff. So Nicholas Cronwall is an 87. Um, I'm not sure if he really did that bad this year. I haven't really watched Nicholas Cronwall. But I know, like, he was not 89 in NHL 14, so that is a two-point drop. So you guys let me know, Detroit fans, if he does deserve that 87 overall. Uh, but Danny DeKaiser, 83, I think that should be a little bit higher. I heard uh, Danny DeKaiser did pretty well this year. I don't know, I'm not sure about um, if that is true or not, but I heard Danny DeKaiser should maybe get, like, an 84, 85. Uh, but let's go right into the offense here. Pavel Datsuk, 90. Henrik Zetterberg, 90. Yo Johan Franzen, 84. Gustav Nyquist, 83, Thomas Tatar, 82, Darren Helm, 82, Riley Sheehan, uh, 80, Justin Abdicator, 80, Daniel Cleary, 79, Stephen Weiss, 79, Joachim Anderson, 77, uh, Drew Miller, 77, and Luke Glendening is 72. So, this one I'm a little bit iffy about, uh, Powell Datsu being 90, um, even though a lot of people are saying Datsu should be a minimum or maximum 92 overall. Uh, you gotta think that EA would probably make him a lot higher just because, you know, he probably would help sell the game a bit more if he was a higher overall, especially in Hut. Just to pull a 90 Datsuk is not as great as pulling like a 93 Datsuk, right? Just a little bit more rare. Uh, but Pavel Datsuk, I think he's going to be 92, 93 around that range, even though he doesn't maybe put up exactly those points. Uh, but you can definitely tell he probably has a stick handling for it. Uh, but I don't know. Henrik Zetterberg is a 90. Uh, seems pretty fair to me. Uh, could be a little bit higher by one point or lower by one point. I wouldn't really... I, I could see it uh, being plus or minus one for that. Uh, but let's see. Let's go on to the next one, the Edmonton Oilers. And on to Edmonton. So Edmonton did a, quite a few big things with their offseason for sure. They picked up, picking up three or four really good players uh, for their team. And I think they do have a fighting chance to make it to the playoffs for sure. I mean, it's always been one of those teams where they haven't really been considered good over the past, like, five, six years. But definitely, I think they might be able to pull something off uh, this year. But I'll tell you what they got. But they picked up Keith Ollie signed as a free agent, one-year, $800,000 contract. Mark Fain signed to a four-year, $14.5 million, co $14 million contract. Sorry, And uh, Benoit Pouliot signed as a free agent, five-year, $20 million contract. They lost a couple people. Uh, like Mark Fraser and Steve McIntyre, but nothing too substantial for sure. Uh, they also picked up uh, Nikita Nik Nikita Nikitin. Sorry, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not totally sure. Uh, but let's get right into the stats here for Ben Scrivens for the goalies. 82 overall. Victor Fast, 81. Richard Bachman, 77. And Laurent Brossois, 72 overall. So... Uh, they're saying best players, Taylor Hall, so we'll see that in a little bit. But Ben Scrivens, 82 overall. I think that should be a little bit higher. Maybe in the 83-84 region. Um, I think he would deserve that because he is a really good goalie. I remember him playing for the Leafs. And they were pretty much fighting it for the spot, uh, James Reimer and Ben Scrivens. But then again, they were really low overall. So I'm not sure what he was exactly thinking there. But maybe that's a fair stat. Edmonton Oilers fans, let me know. But let's get into the defense here. Mark Fain, 83 overall. Jeff Petrie, 82. 
Justin Schultz, 82. Nikita Nikitin, 82 overall. Martin Marinson, 81. Andrew Ference, 81. Oscar Clefbaum, Clefbaum, yeah, 75 overall. And Keith Ollie, 75 overall. So, uh, for defense, I think that looks pretty fair. I'm not sure about you guys for the... Uh, I'm not sure if Edmonton is the strongest on defense, so having lower stats for defense for Edmonton Oilers looks pretty fine to me. But let's go on to the offense here. Taylor Hall, 90. Jordan Eberle, 86. David Perron, 85. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, 84. Benoit Pouliot, 82. Nail Yakupov, 81. Teddy Purcell, 81. Boyd Gordon, 80. Mark Arcobello, 78. Leon Dreisaitl, 78. Matt Hendricks, 77. Anton Lander, 75. Tyler Pitlick, 75. Jesse Jonasu, 75. Eero Pekarian, Pek- Pekarni- <laughs> 73 overall. Luke Gazdick, 69. So, Taylor Hall being a 90, uh, it seems pretty fair to me. Um, kind of if... I, I don't know. Like Having him as a 90 overall, he was 88 overall last year, and I think he is improving, so that 90 overall does make sense. Uh, Jordan Eberle as an 86 kind of makes sense. He hasn't really shined with Edmonton for the past, I don't know, how many years. Like, hasn't done, like, extremely well, you know, where he made a difference. Uh, David Perron, 85. Ryan Nugent Hopkins is an 84. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a fair stat either. I think he's definitely improved a little bit. I think he should get an 85. Every single year, he gets a really low overall. Not sure why, but Benoit Puglia, 82. Uh, I think he's going to get a little bit of a stat raise as well because he did pretty well in the playoffs. But Nail Yakupov, 81. Nothing too substantial, but Taylor Hall, Jordan Everly, and uh, Ben Scrivens, I think, should be a little bit higher or lower uh, depending on what EA thinks. So let's get on to the Florida Panthers. And I keep making fun of Florida Panthers because they have no fans. Uh, but there's probably a fan in here that will enjoy this uh, Florida Panther review at least. Uh, but if you are a Florida Panther fan, make sure to let me know uh, what stat changes need to be made. But actually, Florida made a lot of big changes. Uh, signing people like Willie Mitchell, UC Jokinen, Dave Bolin, Al Montoya, Sean Thornton, Derek McKenzie. And I saw one more here, Erica Brandon re-signing him. Uh, and just losing a lot of people. Even Scott Gomez was became an unrestricted free agent. So they did a lot of changes to their team. I can see... Uh, Florida not being the best team, but definitely a lot of names in there now. I know uh, for sure um, Dave Wollin is a very good player. I'm not sure if he's worth that $5.5 million per four years, but we'll see about that, right? Four or five years. So, Florida Panthers, let's go right into the goalies. Roberto Luongo, 87 overall. Al Montoya, 81. Dan Ellis, 78. Definitely Roberto Luongo is a very good goalie. He used to play for Team Canada, right? So, 87 overall seems pretty fine to me. Uh, let's go into the defense here. Brian Campbell, 86. Dmitry Kulikov, 83. Willie Mitchell, 81. Eric Gabranzen, 81. Aaron Ekblad, 80. Dylan Olsen, 78. And Alex Petrovic, Petrovic, 70 overall. So, Brian Campbell being an 86 overall seems pretty fair to me. Uh, I mean, if Duncan Keith is getting around the 91 92, uh, I think. Uh, Brian Campbell should get an 86. That seems pretty fair to me. Dmitry Kulikov, I'm not sure about the other ones, but they can let me know. I'm not sure too much of how they've played throughout the year. So let's go on to the offense here. So UC Jokinen, 84. Alexander Barkov, 82. Nick Bukestad, 82. Dave Bolin, 82. Brad Boys, 82. Scott Hartnell, 82. Jonathan Huberdeau, 81. Sean Bergenheim, Thomas Fleischman, Brandon Peary, all 81. Thomas Kopetsky, 80. Jimmy Hayes, 75, and Sean Thornton, 73. So the only player that I can really give my opinion on is Dave Bolin. I think he was 84 overall in NHL 14, and I think it does uh, fit him, 84 overall. I think he's going to be that. Uh, The 82 seems a little bit low, even though he is a very good third-line player. He was just injured most of the year. So uh, I think Florida did get a pretty good pickup with Dave Bolin, just other than the fact that his contract is absolutely horrible. Uh, But as the Florida Panthers can make any... Uh, too many comments there, other than maybe Sean Thornton, 73 overall. I think that could be a little bit higher. He is a grinder offense, right? So I think he should be at least 76, 77 up there uh, instead of that low 73. So let's go on to the Los Angeles Kings. All right, so the Los Angeles Kings, uh, definitely a very quiet team throughout the offseason. But then again, they are the Stanley Cup champions, right? Uh, the only thing that they really did was re-sign Marion Gabrick to a 34 million contract, seven-year deal. Uh, re-signing Matt Green. Other than the, other than that, uh, just losing Willie Mitchell to free agency and then um, Florida Panthers signing him. So nothing too crazy there. Uh, Dwight King re-signed. 
that's just about it. They're very quiet, and it makes sense being the Stanley Cup champions. You want to keep that team with you. Uh, but let's get right into the goalies here. 90 overall for Jonathan Quick, 81 overall for Martin Jones. I think for the goalies for Los Angeles Kings, they're going to get a really big stat raise just because uh, they were the Stanley Cup champions. They're going to do a lot better for all the players, uh, for sure. All their stats are always boosted and everything just because they've done really well. Uh, but Jonathan Quick, he was a 91 overall uh, in NHL 14. I think he's going to get a 92 or 93. He's going to be one of the elitist up there uh, for that really top goalie spot, for sure. I think he's one of the best, other than, like, Carey Price. Uh, there's a couple more up there I didn't name, but you definitely could point it out. But Martin Jones, I think maybe 81 seems pretty um, pretty good. I'm not totally sure how Martin Jones played throughout the year. Uh, but let's get right into the defense here. Drew Doughty, 92. Slava Voinov, 84. Jake Muzzin, 83. Alec Martinez, 83. Robin Regeer, 82. Matt Green, 77. Braden McNabb, 74. And Jeff Schultz, 73 overall. So Drew Doughty, having that 92 overall makes sense. Once again, like if you think that Duncan Keith is getting a 91-92, I think Drew Doughty undoubtedly gets a 92 as well, or at least something close to that. So you guys can let me know, Los Angeles fans, if you deserve that 92. But I know... All the Los Angeles fans are diehards for Drew Doughty, so I can understand that. But Slava Voinov, 84, seems pretty fair, I think. Alec Martinez, being 83, seems kind of fair as well. Uh, he's, wasn't, he's not the greatest defenseman of all time, but he does deserve a pretty good overall. Uh, but let's get into the offense here. Anze Kopitar, 91 overall. Jeff Carter, 87. Marion Gabrick, 86. Dustin Brown, 85. Justin Williams, 84. Dwight King, 82. Tyler Toffoli, Mike Richards, both 82, which kind of scares me. I don't know. Jared Stoll, 81. Tanner Pearson, 79. Kyle Clifford, Trevor Lewis, Jordan Nolan, all 77 overalls. Colin Fraser, Colin Fraser, sorry, 75. And Adam Cracknell, 73 overall. So Anze Kopitar being a 91 overall. Uh, I think he's going to be a 90 overall this year. Uh, I'm just feeling it just because, um, I mean, he was an 89 and NHL 14, so having a one-point raise seems like it's pretty fair being an older guy on the Kovatar. Jeff Carter being an 87 overall kind of makes sense. Marion Gabrick being an 86. I think uh, he's going to drop by four points from his 90 overall in NHL 14 uh, from what this guy is saying. But it makes a little bit of sense. He wasn't the greatest player. He only really performed in the playoffs. So the 86 does kind of make sense. Uh, if he is higher than Dustin Brown, who's 85 overall, I think Dustin Brown is going to get an 87 overall. Kind of like the Andrew Ladd kind of uh, power forward, or um, there's a couple other people like Blake Wheeler. I think he should get a higher raise for Dustin Brown, at least in overall stats. Justin Williams, I think, should be a little bit better. I think he um, is definitely one of the greater players there. I think he should be like 86 overall, Justin Williams. Dwight King, 82. Mike Richards being 82, so that is a 6-point drop from what this guy is saying. So, uh, Los Angeles fans, you can let him know, or... Post in the comments whether Mike Richards does deserve that 82 overall. That's a pretty big drop from this, what this guy is saying. I don't know how well Mike Richards did in the playoffs, but I don't think he really deserves a negative 6 drop, you know what I mean? But uh, I think that's just about it. We got one more team. One more team. Just hold on. Last but not least, the Minnesota Wild uh, did quite a few things, at least losing a ton of players to free agency, but also picking up a few players as well. Some notable ones like Thomas Vanek uh, signing to a three-year $19.5 million deal. Uh, Stu Bickle uh, signing up, he's a defenseman, uh, signed to a one-year contract. Brett Sutter uh, signing uh, for a two-year deal as well. A lot of unrestricted free agents like Ilya Brzgalov, Mike Rupp, uh, players like that. But they also picked up or re-signed players like Jonathan Blum, Jason Zucker, and they also got Justin Falk uh, for um, a one-year contract. Sorry about that. Justin Fontaine as well. Uh, so let's get right into the Minnesota Wild. The goalies, Josh Harding, Darcy Kemper. Uh, Nicholas Backstrom and Johan Gustafsson, 73 overall. So, I think the biggest drop you can see there is Nicholas Backstrom. He was 85 overall uh, within uh, NHL 14, but he has dropped 5 points from what this guy is saying. So, I'm thinking uh, Nicholas Backstrom was injured most of the year. I, I think that was the... I think that was right, right? Nicholas Backstrom was injured. You guys can let me know, Minnesota fans. Definitely quite a few of them. Uh, but Nicholas Backstrom, Josh Harding getting an 83 as well. Seems quite fair. Um, I'm not sure about uh, Yo Johan Gustafsson and Darcy Kemper. I've never really seen them play. Uh, but going into the defense here, Ryan Suter, 91 overall. Jonas Brodin, 84. Jarrett Spurgeon, 82. Marco Scandella, 81. Keith Ballard, 76. Christian 
Bolin, 74 overall. Jonathan Blum, 71. So Ryan Suter being a 91 overall, I think that seems pretty fair as well. Uh, Ryan Suter wasn't like a star within um, Minnesota's playoffs this year. Uh, but you, you can tell maybe Drew Doughty, uh, J- uh, Duncan Keith, comparing it to those, he could be a little bit higher than 91 uh, for sure. We'll see what EA thinks about that and what you guys think about that. Uh, but let's get right into the offense there. Uh, Zach Parise, Thomas Vanek, Miku Koivu, 86 overall, Jason Pominville, 85, Michael Granlin, 83, Nino Nita Ryder, 81, Matt Cook, 81. Oh, fuck, Matt Cook getting an 81. Charlie Coyle, 80, Kyle Brodziak, 79. Eric Halla, 79. Cal Clutterbuck, 79. Justin Fontaine, 79. Jason Zucker, 78. Jordan Schroeder, 76. And 73 overall for Stefan Veyu. So, Zach Prezi being 88, I think he's going to be one of those 89 overalls this year. Uh, that, you know, that you still want to pick up. 88 is a little bit low for him. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. Thomas Vanek, same thing there. I think he's going to get like an 87 to 88 overall. Thomas Vanek going back to the Minnesota Wild. Or was he before? He was... He, he's been to a lot of teams within the past, like, year. So I don't even know what Thomas Vanek is doing. Mika Koivu, 86 overall, getting a one-point drop. Jason Palmerville, two-point drop. And all those other players. Other than Matt Cook, he should get a 20-point drop. <laughs> I just can't. All right. So that's going to be the end of this episode of episode three of Player Ratings Predictions. Uh, it, this one was pretty fast, I'm hoping. I'm not sure what the timing was for this. Uh, but I think it's dragged on for at least 10, 15 minutes. But anyways... If we can get this uh, like, if we can get this video, sorry, to 150 likes, I will post another one right after this. Uh, I will have it pre-recorded so I can just upload it right away. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye. I'm living here. It's like if I don't cook, there's no leftovers. There's no food in like the fridge at all, uh, other than raw ingredients.